Hello Internet and welcome back to the Ronaverse. Aaron here with some more Pokemon Moon Black 2. Previously we defeated Safocles or Safocles, I don't I still don't know how to pronounce his name properly for our fifth gym badge. And now we're supposed to go to the Pokemon World Tournament, which is down here. So let's just go do that. So the guy blocking the path in the previous episode is gone now. The Pokemon World Tournament is ahead, you betcha. If you keep winning, you get battle points, which is to say, you win battle points. Alright, you just said BP. If you save up lots of BP and exchange them uh, for great items. Okay. By the way, if you check the time, it is early morning right now. I woke up a lot earlier than I expected, and I figured it's pretty quiet right now. Right now, why don't we use this opportunity to uh, record a video, maybe. When battling in front of people, it's well known that you should stand your ground and not dance around. But I can't resist moves to that groove, like Petal Dance, Quiver Dance, Fury Dance, and Dragon Dance. True. Even Lunar Dance. I love those dance moves. What a boost. What the hell? The cave down there is the Relic Passage, recently discovered, but amazingly it's... What is it connected to again? Oh wait, can we go inside here? No, oh, that's a... Uh, that's... Uh, that's been a woke. I'm gonna have to check back on that. Maybe not in this episode, but sometime soon, I don't know. Everybody calls me the Reminder Girl. I know every move that Pokemon learn while they're leveling up, and I can make Pokemon remember those moves. Sweet! I think I have Heart Scale. I wanna see. Maybe I can give a move to Cress? Who knows? Let's try it. Do they have Fairy type moves in this game? Oh, okay, yeah, they do, but it's apparently the Question Mark type. That's interesting. Moonblast seems really cool though. I'm gonna learn that. I don't care. There we go. And I gave away a heart scale. Sweet, thank you for that. Uh, when a Pokemon learns the move Hidden Power, somehow, I can tell what type that move it will be. Well, that move will be. Okay, that's actually good that, you know, Pokemon actually added this into the game and not the Hackmaker. Um. I don't think I need anyone to know anyone's hidden power. I'm not going to use that move anyway. I can figure that out in Pokegen too. Who was I again? Oh, that's right. Uh, the move deleter. Interesting. I thought we already encountered the move deleter earlier in the game. I guess not. Looks like they're all collated here, which is interesting. And uh, let's just get into this one. Sophocles back here. Here we are. Damn, this place looks huge. What'd you think? Great building, huh? True. Excuse me, <clears throat> here's where the Pokemon World Tournament takes place. And she party? Follow me, Tads. Let's just jump into it. Nice music in here. And it's fucking Nate, what the hell? This time, I'm gonna have you participate in the Drift Veil Tournament. Anything goes in this here tournament. Eight people be participating. And if you win thrice, you're the champion. Why'd you call me too? I'm busy looking into something. You know something, Nate? The one who's gonna show everyone what Pokemon battling means is you. And your pal ain't here either. I'm counting on the power of youth, cause everyone likes up and coming stars. Alrighty, whenever you're ready, get on over to reception. Man, oh man, you never change, Sophocles. But the tournament itself does look pretty fun. Uh, Alright, I'll go register. Me too. Come on, Bodoy, let's have some fun. We'll battle. Plain and simple. True. Cannot wait to beat your ass. Okie dokie. Let's go talk to the locals first before we do anything. Maybe they'll give us some uh, nuggets of wisdom. Let's start with you. Someday I'll be a famous guy, but for now, I'm just a spectator. Dream on, buddy. I know much about strong trainers, so I'll tell you about gym leaders and champions and so on once you battle them. Interesting. Oh, yeah, there are uh, vending machines here. Let's take the opportunity. I'm gonna get maybe three lemonades. And then one soda pop. And that's it. Hello! The exchange service corner. Cool. What are your prizes? I just wanna check. Okay. These are the cheapest ones. EV boosting. And then there's a 
Evolution stones. Scope lens is pretty cool, actually. I already have a wide lens. Muscle band is pretty damn good for our team. Damn, I might want to save up for that. Who knows? Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Yeah, these are actually some really good moves. No lie. Okay. Damn, I would... That muscle band actually looks pretty damn interesting. I want to give that to someone who's a physical attacker like... Either Lawrence, Graham, Ronda, or Toto. These guys are all physical attackers. Crest is literally my only special attacker in my whole team. I love me some adamant boys. Hello, welcome to the exchange service. Oh, you have two exchange service corners. What the hell? What is this? Oh, this is dedicated to... What do you call it? TMs. Why is SmackDown around like nothing? I already have them. Okay. Cool, uh-huh. I don't really like any of these moves, to be honest. Frost Breath, Brick Break looks pretty cool, but aside from that, nah, nothing doing. Hello there, trainer. Let me fill you in about battle points, also known as BP. Uh, points you get for winning streaks in either Nimbasa City's Battle Subway or this tournament. Win a lot, save up points, and you can exchange them for useful items. That is true. Let's go do that whenever you're ready. I will be ready in a bit. I just want to talk to these guys real quick. Many trainers from far away will come to participate. It's crazy popular. That is, yeah, this is what pack to the rafters means. What else? Two years ago, this was a cold storage area. Damn, these guys build fast. Safakles so is awesome. I heard he started all of this to in, uh, yeah, encourage Driftvale City's development. Nice man you got here, guys. That's the Pokemon World Tournament for you. Packed with spectators. Where do all these guys come from? Alright, let's uh, battle. No, let's talk to you, I guess. Let's register. Yes, I will participate. I will do the Drift Driftvale tournament because that's all there is. Please choose the Pokemon. I guess I can only choose three? I'm thinking. I would not want Russell to be part of it, that's for sure. Uh huh. Hmm. Who do we start off with? That's one of the most important things. I will lead off with Graham. And maybe I'll bring. My two highest level Pokemon, just to be sure. Toto and then Rhonda. And I think, yeah, sorry, Cress and Lawrence. Uh, you guys are gonna have to take a back seat. Let's just do this. Done. Registration is complete. Right this way, please. Whew, can't wait. Cannot wait. The Drift Veil Tournament Single Battle. These are the Pokemon trainers who entered this tournament. First off is going to be Gladian, me versus Gladian. I'm only going to be facing off against main, what do you call it, main characters of this game. Will this episode comprise only of the Drift Veil tournament? Let's check it out. Let's wait and see. Gladian's pushing his limits in order to find his important Pokemon. That's all you care about, buddy. First round, Gladian versus Bodoy. Let's get this bread. Safakles sure likes things loud and flashy, don't he? Well, whatever. Time to go all out. Mm -mm -mm. Let's groove with this battle music. Beautiful stuff. Pre Marina to start off with. I think I made a good choice then. Is everyone, like, down to level 25? What the hell? What the hell happened with the levelings? Why are you all so weak? I expected all of you to be like level 40 or something. So I'm just gonna one shot everything, I guess. Black and Rock and damn. All right, all right. For, I remember. Uh, battle style is um, automatically on set instead of shift for these uh, world tournament games. I gain experience though, which is really cool. I'm gonna farm some experience. I don't even need to send out my other dudes, dude. Oh yeah, he evolved his uh, Rock Ruff into a Lycan Rock, and interestingly enough, next, last is an Umbreon. Oh goodness, we're gonna destroy his old team. I don't know if does Umbreon survive this. It's bulky. No, it doesn't. Umbreon known to be bulky, but we have like 14 levels on top of you. Man, I've lost. No money earned for that though. That's alright. The winner of the first round is Bodoy. Still. Your Pokemon sure look like they're having a lot of fun when they battle. I bet they do. Check out our other matches. 
first round Celsius versus Nate. That's a nice name, by the way. Totally one sided game. Nate won the battle. Hey yo. Gladian versus Bodoy. What a suspenseful match. No, dude, that was one sided as hell. I one shot his whole team. Alright. Hernando versus Colres was never in danger. Extremely easy victory. Hot damn. And last, Minoru versus Jax. What a clash of wills. Jax has slightly surpassed the opponent. Dude, Colres having the easiest route to the championship battle whatsoever. What on earth is he doing here too? Next is Nate. Roar, eek. These guys are scared. In this corner, the young Pokemon trainer battling for his ideals. It's Nate. Let's get this bread too. Let's do our best. Second round. Why is that misaligned? All right. I'm as thrilled as I could be to battle here against you. The first challenger I battled as a gym leader. I'm sure you've learned something about Pokemon during your journey. Now, I'm gonna test to see if your bond with your Pokemon has grown stronger. All right, that's cool. But quick question: Why is your picture misaligned? Maybe something wrong with the coding. It's all right though. Let's see what you have now. Okay, you're gonna start off right quick with a Stoutland. Again, level 25. This is a really easy uh, set of matches. I was really expecting these guys to be at like level 40 or something, at the very least. But it's cool though, if we can just wipe the floor with them. One side to battle my ass. Gum shoes, normal type Pokemon. This is a joke, dudes. Another Drain Punch. Just gonna farm that. It's a good thing too that we get healed before battles because, uh, I don't know, we save our PP on. Oh, damn, Sil Valley looking pretty damn sweet. Are you a normal type? I think so. I'm gonna drain punch just to check. Bam. Again. Nothing but drain punches and nothing but kills. Nothing but one shots. Fantastic. I didn't gain any experience for that one though. That was weird. The winner of the second round is Bodoy. I made it where I'm because. Ah, I made it where I am because Pokemon were by my side. Perhaps we need to think about why Pokemon help us, not in terms of Pokemon and trainers, but as a relationship between living beings. No need to go Socrates on me, baby. Check out the match on the giant screen, the other matches. Bodoy won, now we know how strong trainers and Pokemon can become. Second round, Colrus versus Jax, opponent couldn't do much at all, it's all Colrus, baby. Uh-oh, this is a championship battle right here. I hope to god he does not have a super bulky Porygon 2 or Z at this point. It comes down to this match, Bodoy enters. This would be the first title win. You can do it! Heavy, heavy. I don't even know what they're chanting. Drift Veil Tournament, the final round. The opponent is entering the arena. <clears throat> Here he is, WWE entrance. It's Colrus. His wish is to bring out the power of Pokemon. Whoa! Bring on the bullshit, baby. Let's see if we win this time in one try. <clears throat> As a researcher, it is the truth and the ideal way things should be that I seek. With the latent power of Pokemon, what is the best way to bring it out? If possible, I want it to be the trust between trainers and their Pokemon, just as it has always been. I look forward to you teaching me that this is indeed true. Me too. We need to school this boy. And it is not the Colrus uh, battle music, it's I guess the champion battle music, the final round for the Pokemon World Tournament. I'm gonna start off with a Magneton that's actually good for us. Level 25 still, so I don't think we should have any problem with this guy now. I'm just gonna drain punch the hell out of you. Nothing but Gallade. I'm gonna sweep you with one Pokemon. Watch out. Marini. Wait a minute. Was I just tripping? We're not actually earning experience for any of this. I'm an idiot. What's going on? I thought I was. I think I really was tripping. Psycho Cut should have been a better move, but it died in one hit anyway. 
Last is a bounce suite. Oh, you don't even have your whatchamacallit, uh, your Porygon 2 this time. That's actually really cool, good for me. Psycho Cut to finish you off, I guess. Yeah, there we go. There we go. Well done. Learned much from this battle. Not really. I didn't learn that much myself. I just one-shot you with all my team moves. The winner is... Bodoy. Oh, shit. What the hell happened to our face? Yo! Easy peasy lemon squeezy victory for the boys and girls out here. Just as I expected. Your Pokemon must be happy to be by your side. You bring out the best in their power. This concludes the Drift Veil Tournament. See you in the next one. Okie dokie, that was good. That was fun. How many how much BP did we win? As a result of your victory, I got one BP. How sad. Alright, that's fine. Okie dokie. We hope to see you again. Alright, an astounding, outstanding battle runs. Now everybody's gonna want to join in on this here tournament and show that stuff. Yo, Roxy, what up? Hey, you two! Haven't you got any wild and crazy Pokemon battles to show me? Guess I'll have to enter the tournament myself and rock the audience right out of their seats. Hell yeah, you go do that, Roxy. See what I mean? People are pouring in already. If the strongest trainers from all over join in, it'll raise up everybody's level of skill. And then, little old Drift Vale City will grow even more and make a heap of money. So keep on busting those battles and rallying everybody up. See ya! Gotta love capitalism shown in Pokemon. Alright, you guys not move. Ah, I wanted to win the, first, the tournament first time I participated. Then don't bring level 25 mons. What is wrong with you guys? The Unova Gym Leaders will probably participate in order to improve their skills. Cannot wait for that. I don't know if we're going to return here. So, I guess this isn't the only thing we're going to be doing in this episode, I guess, because there's plenty of time left. Ah, I barely recognize you and Bodoy. You two are way different from when we battled in Aspersia. Traveling with Pokemon makes everyone grow so much. Holy shit. What was that just now? I'm going after him. Bodoy, come with me. Stop. Yo, Colrus. There is no reason for you to stick your necks into something so dangerous. The Pokemon I'm looking for. My little sister's Vulpix. It might be with them. And he's gone. I'm going too. I've got his back. Calmly moseying over there. I don't understand. That's not courage, it's recklessness. Does he think anything is possible simply because he has Pokemon with him? No. No, that's not possible. All trainers in Pokemon are bound to one another by Pokeballs. Then, maybe it is this bond that will allow trainers to overcome the impossible if they trust their partner Pokemon. I don't know about that, but I'm gonna go talk to the locals here before we press on. The crowd will go wild. Isn't it wonderful how people challenge themselves? Helps bring the world together. Challenging themselves, rather. That looks a lot... This mountain reminds me a lot of Lunala for some reason. Yo, got a zinc over here. Random zinc, thank you. Someone just chose to throw that away. What kind of trainers will come? What kind of battle will it be? Who knows? There's like so many trash bins here. That's actually how it's supposed to be. What a society this place is. A helmet is an important tool for shock protection. Oh, he's gonna give us a rocky helmet. Good stuff. Possibly useful, but I don't know. The foe will also be damaged if that foe's move makes physical contact. True. Oh, what do you say? Hey, ya! Uh, the professor gave you a Pokemon to start your journey, right? Is that Pokemon still with you? And if you two have a strong bond, there's a special move you can learn. What is a battle combo move? Oh, is this Fire Pledge? Let me try it. Fire Pledge. Nah. I think that's good for, like, triple battles, but it's a niche move. Mm-hmm. Water, Fire, and Grass Pledge. When combinations of these three moves are used in battle, special things happen. I haven't actually seen the animation for those, so it'd be cool to check it out, maybe someday. Your quest for power has brought you here. Very well. I will reward your passion with some absolutely astounding moves. The ultimate moves. Yo, can I only... Okay. So, Blast Burn, Frenzy Plant, and Hydro Cannon, I'm guessing? Nah, I'm a physical attacker. 
My husband can teach some Pokemon the ultimate moves, I'll tell you their names. Blazing Fire type Pokemon, Charizard, Typhlosion, Blaziken, Infernape, and Embor. Don't forget the Gen 6 and 7 ones. What was the last one? Delphox and Mine Incineroar, right? Restless Water type Pokemon, Blastoise, Feraligator, Swampert, Empoleon, Samurott, Dugray Ninja, and Primarina. And the Quiet Grass type Pokemon, Venusaur, Meganium, Sceptile, Torterra, Superior, Chestnut, and decidui right okay that's pretty cool anyhow i don't know if we're gonna take on we're gonna press with the story then go down south yet just yet um i want to go explore these uh, optional areas for the time being there were trainers here i feel maybe get a little bit of grinding there before we continue on uh-huh let's go do that shall we seems like an interesting place maybe we'll find some pokemon or something I'm here collecting shards so that I can have my Pokemon be taught moves. They can be found in the dust clouds, but rarely you'll find a Pokemon instead. Alright, intro link stuff, don't need that, but it's fine. What is in this uh, cave? I just want to explore this cave real quick. We're going to do all that other stuff in the next episode, don't worry. My path and yours, they cross. Here and now. Okie dokie. Farm some experience from you, gal, Eileen. A lot of it are. Actually, a pretty decent Pokemon. It's level 37, though. You should have evolved it into a Pupitar long ago. You will be punished for that. Drain punch you. Boom, Diara. Pupitar. Okay, you listen to me, I guess. Um, Do I need anyone else to check this out for me? No, I don't think so. I don't think so. No, 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 no. Rock Dark. Another Drain Punch, please. Another one shot, thank you. Are you gonna have a fucking Tyranitar? Oh, no, it's a Trap Pinch. We're safe, guys, don't worry. No, I'll get to level 40. I'll just use Graham, why not? Um, Let's just use something like Psycho Cut. It's not gonna be super effective, but it's all good. It's all good. Darshi Blues, level 40 now. That's a good Pog Champ right there from Graham. Now that I think about it, I've come quite far. I think you did, but not far enough. Not as far as me, my boy. What else is down here? Oh, can I go there? I need strength for that place. Uh-oh. Wild Pokemon, Meditite. I'll just speed through this. I'm only going to be speeding through stuff like Wild Pokemon. Hello, buddy. What's going on with you? Hold up, did you know this path was supposedly made ages and ages ago? That's interesting to know, but... Why are you here then? What? Okay, hi, Keith. Keith, what leads you to he being here in the first place? Are you supposed to be a ruin maniac? Who knows, you have an Aeron though. Not my favorite Pokemon, even though it shares my name. Just needs an extra A in there. Aeron here. Hello, Internet. Welcome back to the run vs. Aaron here. But that's not who you are. That's who I am. Metal Sound. Not affecting us in any way, shape, or form. I'm gonna finish you off with uh, fucking Night Slash. That's literally 1 HP. Why not? <clears throat> Okie dokie. What else? Laron! Staying in again. And a Drain Punch once more. Four times super effective, there's no way you're living that. And my egregiously high attack stat makes sure of it. Okie dokie, what is to here? Yo, what is this place? More trainers. I'll take them on right quick. The lake that spreads beneath the earth and a hiker who waits beside it. Let's see what you got. Hiker just chilling on a lake. Tobias. Or Tobias. I don't know how to pronounce that properly. My goodness. Graham is having a field day right now. The only problem we have is uh, Drain Punch doesn't have enough PP. I'm just going to keep Drain Punching. Girder. 
We can literally just stay in. Do we want anyone else to take this on? Ah, fuck it. Graham, just take it out. Just take it out by yourself. We have all the coverage in the world. Boom, headshot. Super effective. Critical hit. Damn, I called the headshot right there. There we go. Last is a Bulldore. Alright, Graham, I'm gonna let you rest your drain punches for a little bit. I'm gonna go to Toto. For the time being. Just gonna waterfall you to Oblivion for now. My question is though, can uh, trade evolutions evolve in this game through single player means? Something like Boldor. Ah, oh, come on, you wasted my crit on a sturdy. Gosh darn it. Gosh darn all these sturdy Pokemon. Finish you off with uh, Crunch, because why not? 1 HP, just use weak ass moves. And that's another hiker. Defeated. What else is down here? Ooh, item. I called it. There's a blue shard over here. We don't have surf yet, so we can't explore that area yet. Instead, we're gonna find pupitars in here. That's weird. Okay. But pretty cool nonetheless. Uh huh. I'm thinking there's an item here somewhere. Yep, I called it. Max Repel, that's actually good for us. Let's check out some more of the Pokemon here, though. I want to see if there's anything good. Well, there's an Alolan Graveler. If you guys want to know a Rock Electric Pokemon, you can find that over here. Oh, there's an another item over here. What the hell? I'll battle you first, though. I'll borrow this Ruin's power to power up my own psychic powers. Why are you stuttering? Psychic Tully, out here, with a Drifloon. I think, oh man, this thing's dead. This thing is dead as hell. I have literally like two moves super effective against it. Uh, let's just go for Thunder Punch. I haven't used that one yet. I love having coverage moves. It's the best thing in the world, baby. Next to Sex. Anywho, Sableye. Uh, Dark Ghost, that does not have any weaknesses, does it? I don't think so. Do you want anyone else to take it out? Let's uh, go for Lawrence for the meantime. He is still level 38. He's my starter. He's the lowest level Pokemon in my team as of the moment. Oh, that's a Mega Sableye. Shoot, I didn't even realize the M. That is amazing. Damn. Do I want to use that as my thumbnail? I think I do. I don't know. Hmm... We're just gonna fire fang. Let's get that charcoal stab power in there. Oof, that thing's bulky as hell. Confuse ray hopefully shouldn't be too much of a problem. One more fire fang should kill you, of course. If we hit. Oh, yes, we hit. We're safe, boys and girls. There we go, level 39. That's what we're looking for. All these level ups. Last is a Sableye, a regular one. I'm gonna switch out because we're confused. Let's go. Let's go Graham for now. Cress looks like she needs some training too. Okay, um... I guess let's go for something like a neutral move, Thunder Punch. Yo, Shadow Sneak got me tripping. It's a good thing you don't hit as hard just as you need to. And you're out for the count. There we go. Level 41 now for Graham. Actually a pretty neat thing. Level That's 160 attack stat. My goodness. We are rolling. In both Pokemon and Doe. That guy gave us so much money. More wild Pokemon. Loudred. That's fine. There's a green shard over here. We are just finding shards for days, my dude. Uh-oh, more. There's more hidden items. Dude, this is a huge, extensive-ass cave. My goodness. Relic Passage. Ludicrous. I'm gonna explore the entirety of this, I guess. Hello! Low, low. <laughs> nice little echoes. For the lady. Backpacker Annie. 
Aw, this reminds me of Annie's song. You fill up my senses. Na, 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 na. I fell in love with John Denver's song so long ago. Okay, what else do you have? Nose pass. Um, we're gonna not stay in, I think. Uh, let's go Toto, I guess. Spread the experience 2020. Oh, you're close to level 42 now. It's a good thing I switched out to you. Okay. Let's get this bread. Boom, Diara. Oh, come on. I lost, 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 lost. I'm guessing there's an item here. Another yellow shard. There's so many shards. And so far, we haven't encountered any of those shaking, uh, swirling dust clouds yet. Maybe not right now. Maybe soon. I don't know. So you can find girders and bulldors. Just a regular Pokemon in the caves in U of Unova. Nothing too out of place. Uh, what's over here? Okay, there's something up here. It's coming! It's coming! The ancient spiritual power! Goodness. That's me when I jack off. Anywho, um... Psychic Anna has five Pokemon. Jesus Christ, a Yamask to start things off. Yo, chill out, baby. Five Pokemon, that's ridiculous. Okay, um, Night Slash. Mummy! What the hell? Oh no! I am now a mummy. No longer have justified. It's fine though. I don't really care about that move. I don't think we're ever gonna get hit by dark type moves anytime soon. Uh, Haunter is coming up. Let's go Cress for now. Cress is missing out on that sweet, sweet experience. We need to train her up. And we're gonna snow warning this bitch. Why not? I'm going to hex my way out. Hell yeah. Oh, what the hell? You lived. It's a good thing we have hail, of course. And that's not going to do anything. There we go. Nice. We're going to stay in. Why not? Gotharita? Ooh. Found a never melt ice. Say hello to hex. But I mean, oh my god! All right, uh, Gotharita probably has really high special defense stats. Then we didn't. He lived through that. That's incredible. Okay, level thirty-nine now for Cress. Yeah, yo. Uh huh. Okay. Shuppet is next. I'm just gonna stay in. Why not? Hex again. Yo, did you just stick your tongue out at me? How rude. I didn't even know Shuppet had a fucking mouth? What? Did it always have a mouth? I'm just seeing that now. That's ludicrous. I'm just no I'm just i I just knew that now actually. That's incredible. I thought I didn't have a mouth all this time. That's weird. Alright. So went through all your Pokemon. No biggie. Let's just get this item in this rock. There's so many shards within these rocks. We're just picking them off one by one. Uh, what is up here? I don't think we explored this area yet. Run away from that girder. Oh, what the hell? Hello? Ah, oh, we can't go in there. We need strength first. It just loops around. There's a Mawile here. Hell yeah. If you guys want a Mega Mawile, find the Mawileite first. And you can find Mawiles here. In this, what's this called again? Relic Passage? Okay. Something, there's an item over there we can't get for some reason. We need to go over here, I guess. Go through here. My gosh, how far? How deep does this cave go? It's ridiculous. Oh shit, wait a minute. 
right quick. I'm gonna save state right here just in case this place blocks us from Driftvale City. Max Repel, got a second one, that's good. Uh oh, I think we're blocked off. Oh no, what the hell? Totally love the Wawalk TV show, but they took it off the air. Whoa, we can find Noibats here, sweet! Damn! I honestly want that, but I don't need it. Wait a minute. We've been here before, haven't we? Oh shit, this leads back to the Castellia sewers. Ah, shoot. Yeah, now I know. So this is where it leads off to. It's a really good thing that we uh, save stated before we jump down this passage. The only bad thing being that we did not get that max repel. But it's honestly okay with me. I don't need that. I have plenty. I have plenty of super repels. Did we battle you already? Oh yeah, we did. So I think we already explored everything that this cave has to offer for the time being. It's really cool how the Relic Passage connects to the Castellia Sewers. That's weird. Dude, where is this item? I don't know where to find this. Right quick though, do we have uh, escape ropes? Kinda just wanna get out of here quick. If not, then we'll just uh, max repel our way out. Escape ropes. Do we have those? No. So I guess we'll just use this max repel to get the hell out of here. My only one. We'll buy more though. I think we have plenty of super repels. Oh, I can't pass this up. Green shard? Sure. Hello? Okay. Okay, we didn't... Uh, We got everything we need to do, right? In this area. I think we did. Yeah, nothing else down here. And once we go out here... Oh, it still leads back to this place. I'm an idiot. Um, Wait, did we explore this area yet? I don't think we did. Let me check real quick. Oh yeah, we didn't battle this guy yet, that's for sure. Yeah, there's one more thing over here, let's just do that. First, one big last gulp, hold your breath. Okay, let's go do that. I just gulped if you guys didn't hear it. Alrighty. Gibble. Backpacker Randall has a gibble. Ah oh, damn, this would be perfect for someone like, um... Crest, but she's not here right now, so I'm just gonna, gonna hit you hard with a psycho cut. Why not? It would be amazing if you can find stuff like Colmo O in this game. That's actually one of my favorite uh, Gen 7 dragon types. Radicate. I'm gonna stay in. Why not? Let's just self heal with a drain punch, baby. Sucker punch. Oof. Oh, right, I forgot. Justified activating. Hell yeah. I forgot Sucker Punch is a dark type move, and you just killed yourself. You played yourself, buddy. Let me get all that HP back. It's beautiful. Next is a Gabite. Oh, hell yeah, we're gonna go into Caress straight away. Okie dokie. Uh, snow Warning. That's good. That's good and all. In case we don't knock you out, we're gonna Ice Beam you. This is four times super effective against you for sure. This knocks you out. Hell yeah. Plus Never Melt Ice. Plus Stab. You have no chance, baby. Randall is dead. 888 for winning. My favorite number. What is this item you're protecting? TM Hidden Power. Okay. Okay. So I guess that guy in the PWT actually had some use. Is there an item here? Before we... Uh, kill things off. Oh no, repels effect wore off. It's fine. We're almost to the exit. Shoot, and to get this green shard, it's fine. Wait a minute. Yeah, so uh, let's just take off the item finder, dowsing machine, I think. And we are finally out of there. So, mental note for me: buy some uh, fucking escape ropes and max repels, I guess. Anywho, we're gonna go heal up real quick, and next episode we are gonna take on. Team Skull down south from the Pokemon World Tournament where we were supposed to be, but we skipped over that for the optional stuff. So leave a like if you enjoyed this video and subscribe to see more. And I will see you in the next one where we actually progress with the plot. Alright, so uh, take care everybody. Bye-bye. Um, Bye-bye.